Hey folks, I'm Peter Melhorn. Can you imagine having the state record fish for 70 years and then the state comes in and takes the record away? Well, I'm gonna tell you how that happened. Well folks, this crazy tale happened in South Dakota. And it was in 1949 that Roy Groves caught a monster catfish. Now he had fished the area regularly. He was one of the original old timers that was fishing for big trophy catfish. And he caught a monster fish, 55 pounds. He had it weighed in and certified as the state record for a channel catfish. Now one of the things that's interesting about this story is that there are actually pictures of this fish, several pictures of it. Now you gotta remember folks, back in 1949, uh, we didn't have digital cameras, we didn't have iPhones, not everybody was walking around with a camera. We were shooting film back then, black and white film on top of that. Not to mention the fact that that's been 70 years and the fact that those uh, prints and images have been handed down and passed on since then. It's really cool that we have an image left today. Now those actual images are what led to the state of South Dakota to step in, examine the pictures, and go, hey guys, something might be up here. Over the past 70 years, especially the past 10 or 20 years, as stuff starts to spread more and more on the internet and in social media, a lot of people have brought into question the legitimacy of the catch. And uh, it was a lot of it was based on the fact that there's one defining characteristic on this fish uh, that makes it appear not to be a channel catfish. Well, as any of you experienced anglers know, uh, a large blue catfish and a large channel catfish can look very similar. Uh, the shape, uh, especially during the spawn, the coloration, they almost look identical, except for one thing, and that is the shape of the anal fin. Now the anal fin is on the bottom of catfish. Uh, it's uh, near the tail. And the difference between a blue and a channel is very well defined when you extend the fin out. One, there's a different number of rays, the little fins, the little bony looking things that are in there. Uh, there's a distinct number between the two. But also the most easy thing to detect is visually the shape of it. The outer edge of a blue catfish anal fin is very flat. Uh, the length of the rays is pretty much even. When you get onto a channel catfish, it has much more of a rounded shape to it, not just on the tips, but actually the middle. The middle uh, of the anal fin rays are slightly longer than those adjacent to it. And that is what the state keyed in on in these images, and they decided that this record had to go. Now, obviously, that's heartbreaking for the family because this is something I'm sure they've been very proud of over the years. And uh, it's something that, you know, they protested, understandably so. But in my opinion, looking at the image, I too think this was a blue catfish and I think the state did the right thing. Hey, it's not the first time it's happened, guys. This happened in North Carolina uh, about 10 years ago. There was uh, what was believed to be a state record channel catfish. Um, and same thing, once they got to looking at the pictures and made an identification on it, turns out it was a flathead catfish. So uh, this kind of stuff can happen. Uh, you got to remember too, folks, back then the information wasn't as readily available on identifying fish. It's not like today. I can go here on the internet and do a little bit of Googling and look up and have all the identifying characteristics of a channel catfish, flathead catfish, blue catfish at my fingertips. Back then, a lot of these guys didn't have it. And it's cool, though, that we're able to set the record straight today. Well, the people in South Dakota found out about it and a new record was set almost immediately at eight pounds and three ounces. And guess what, folks? It didn't take long before somebody else stepped up and topped it with an even bigger channel catfish. So, if you're fishing in South Dakota, it's probably a good time to go out and go fishing because you could find yourself with a new state record channel catfish.